God is absolutely incredible. We should marvel at his creation. You know, according to Romans 1.20, creation testifies of a creator. And according to Genesis 1.14, when God created the sun and the moon, their primary focus is for signs, like a solar and lunar eclipse. And due to their scientific nature, meaning that they shouldn't occur in the first place, tells us that each one of God's celestial signs has a purpose. Which is why today's topic is a very special one. Because what I'm about to share with you puts into context just how close we are to the rapture. And without beating around the bush any longer, let me just share with you a comment that was shared with me by a fellow believer in Christ and what this whole video is about. And so pulling up their comment, they shared this. The supreme leader of Iran, Ali Khomeini, was born on an eclipse. In fact, Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel, was also born on an eclipse. Isn't that incredible? God has used his celestial signs to mark these two world leaders for a very specific reason and will be the focus of today's video. As we will discover that our 420 Haman 2.0 eclipse is directly linked to this connection. In addition to the recent attacks in Israel, the story of Esther and its prophetic significance, and why we are moments away from the rapture. And if you've been following my channel for the last few months, the fact that these two world leaders are born on eclipses is the icing on the cake to literally everything that the Holy Spirit has been driving towards on this channel. It's a Holy Spirit mic drop moment. And so with that said, beloved, welcome back to Supernatural by Design. My name is Jared, and I pray that you've been having a wonderful and blessed week and that God's grace and peace is with you. And before we begin this video, I just want to give a big thank you to our fellow believer in Christ who shared this information and allowed the Holy Spirit to use them to track this down. Thank you. And that goes for you all as well. If God shows you something, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Oh, and lastly, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, share this video. Any and all interactions you all do help to support this channel, and I greatly appreciate that. And if you enjoy studying God's celestial signs as they relate to end time Bible prophecy, then you should definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And to that point, let's go ahead and dive into God's celestial supernatural by design signs as they pertain to Israel and Iran. So to begin, let's break this video into two separate videos. For our first one, this video, we're going to cover more high level stuff. And then in our second video, we will examine more of the intricacies of how this is tied to the story of Esther, Mordecai, and the Revelation 12 sign. Again, definitely subscribe so you don't miss that second video. However, for this video, let's break it into three sections. Our first section will deal with the two leaders born on an eclipse. In section two, we'll examine each one of those leaders independently to some other very fascinating celestial signs. In fact, this is where we'll discuss the 420 eclipse. And Bibi's connection, well, you'll just have to see, it's very exciting. And then finally, in section three, we're going to discuss some other world leaders that follow eclipse patterns, which I think you will find very fascinating. So we certainly have a packed video, so definitely make sure you watch to the end. But I guarantee that if you do, that you won't look at the year of 2023 the same. Not after this video. And so with that said, let's go ahead and dive into section one and talk about our two leaders who are born on an eclipse. And so, turning to our Born on Eclipse main slide and add some screenshots from NASA's website that A, these eclipses occurred on these particular dates, as well as the birth year and date of these two leaders. And comparing them side by side, we can see that indeed, Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel and the Supreme Leader of Iran, Ali Khomeini, were both born on an eclipse. That, saints, is supernatural by design, especially considering that currently these two countries are aiming for war against one another. 
It's almost as if God is saying, hey, these two guys are very significant. In fact, scientifically, celestially speaking, that's exactly what he's saying. Now, as Christians, I'm sure a lot of us know who Benjamin Netanyahu is, but we may not all be familiar with who the Supreme Leader of Iran is. So I just want to provide a little bit of backdrop to this guy. He is the top dog in charge of Iran. President Raisi, who's very unique in his own right, in fact, dubbed the Butcher of Tehran. And we'll see he's also related to an eclipse later in the video himself. But nonetheless, Raisi is second in charge to this guy, Ali Khomeini. And Ali Khomeini has also been ruling since 1989 after the founder of the revolution of Iran passed away in 1989. So Ali Khomeini is only the second supreme leader of Iran. Now to provide a little flavor for the character of this guy, here is a Twitter post that he made back in 2015 where he posts that Israel will cease to exist in the next 25 years. And so moreover, Ali Khomeini, the supreme leader of Iran, is a huge enemy of Israel. That, we will see, is extremely significant, especially in section two of this video. And so let's do section two now and see the unique connections each leader holds to Bible prophecy. And so let's talk about Ali Khomeini first. And to do that, Let's now bring in our 420 hybrid solar eclipse. What we have been dubbing for the last few months, Haman 2.0 Antichrist Eclipse. Because this particular eclipse is unique for many reasons. One of which is that it's a hybrid eclipse, meaning it will be both a total and an annular eclipse. And hybrid eclipses only make up 5% of all solar eclipses, so it's rare on its own. However, how the Lord connected it to Hitler and Haman from the story of Esther is this. This 420 eclipse marks what would be Hitler's 134th birthday. It also, using the Saros cycle, an 18-year lunar eclipse pattern, specifically Saros 129, was a part of the same eclipse pattern going all the way back to 1933 when Hitler rose to power. And because Hitler shared a similar plot to Haman, of exterminating the Jews. Now pulling up this slide, according to Jewish tradition, Pisces is associated with Haman. Because per their tradition, they quote Haman as saying this, now I shall be able to swallow them as a fish which swallows one another. And that's exactly where this eclipse occurs in the constellation of Pisces. In fact, it's right next to Jupiter. And Jupiter being the king planet, is very unique to the celestial sign. Check this out. It was the king in the story of Esther who gave Haman his authority. It's also true that when the Antichrist comes to power, it's the dragon that gives the Antichrist his power. And notice, this Haman eclipse tied to Pisces is right over the dragon, the constellation of Cetus, linking both Revelation and Esther to this eclipse. You see how this all makes sense? And so this celestial sign is pointing to this as a concept linking the Antichrist to Haman. Hence, why we've been dubbing this eclipse the Haman 2.0 Antichrist Eclipse. In fact, here's another unique detail. Where did the story of Esther take place? In Persia. That, in modern times, is Iran. There's just so many connections here, it's fascinating. Now, pulling the relevance of what we just discussed with our 420 eclipse being tied to Haman and Iran, let's compare this now with the current supreme leader of Iran and his eclipse. Check this out. This 420 eclipse lands one day after Ali Khomeini's birthday, the supreme leader of Iran. Isn't that incredible? Actually, here's another profound connection that ties these two eclipses together. Because since we know that the 420 eclipse occurs in Pisces, check this out. Let's take a look at Stellarium when Ali Khomeini's eclipse occurred. And so, switching to Stellarium, as we zoom in, the eclipse is in Pisces again. And we have a very profound planetary alignment lying up between Pisces and the dragon. And so moreover, we know that this 420 eclipse 
and Ali Khamenei's eclipse birth, something very profound is getting ready to happen, involving Iran. And per the story of Esther, involves Israel, the apple of God's eye, which is a great segue into Bibi Netanyahu and the profoundness of the timing of his eclipse, marking his birth. However, to highlight the significance of this eclipse, outside of just the timing of it all on its own, in order to see this pattern, let us now turn to the Israeli Tetrad in order to see this amazing connection. Now, if you're not familiar with the Israeli Tetrad, it's a lunar eclipse pattern that occurs every 18 years that marks significant events in Israel's history. In fact, we just had the last set in 21 and 22, pointing us to the rise of the Third Temple very soon. In fact, recently, more and more news is starting to come out about Israel's desire to build a Third Temple. It's not coincidental. These celestial signs patterns that God is using is pointing to that aspect. But nonetheless, and then going back 54 years, or 3 times 18 years, which is 3 sorrow cycles, from 2021 and 2022, we arrive at 1967, and 1968 was the recapture of Jerusalem, when four total lunar eclipses in a row, marking the exact same Jewish feast days, Passover and Tabernacles, two years in a row, and then 18 years previous to that set, is 1949 and 1950, marking the regathering of Israel. I think you see where I'm headed with this. Because pulling up this slide, it turns out the eclipse marking Benjamin Netanyahu's birthday was actually two weeks after the Feast of Tabernacles total lunar eclipse. Isn't that incredible? Saints, the Prime Minister of Israel right now was marked by a solar eclipse that occurred in this tetrad. That is a mic dropper from the Holy Spirit. Saints, this is a wow moment. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. The fact that we have Benjamin Netanyahu, the Supreme Leader of Iran, both born on eclipses, is extremely profound. I can't overstate that. Not to mention there are other tied connections. Ali Khamenei to our 420 eclipse, and then Benjamin Netanyahu tied to our Tetrad. These fascinating celestial patterns are supernatural by design. Why? So they point us to who created them. Thank you, Jesus, for revealing your sovereignty through your creation. Praise God for his wisdom. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and move into section three and discuss some additional world leaders that God is using eclipses to mark their significance in end time events. And so for starters, Let's start with Benjamin Netanyahu, because now that we know he was born on eclipse, did you know that Donald Trump was also born on eclipse? And knowing these two fascinating details that God has put in the skies, it brings a whole new light to the significance of the Abraham Accords, as they were both the world leaders at the present time that brought that to fruition, and is arguably an element of the end times covenant that begins Daniel's 70th week. Not to mention, and if you're familiar with my channel, the fact that the Abraham Accords was on January 28th, that's an 11 date. And 11 dates are very significant in moving the ball forward in end time events. But my main point is that these two world leaders have unique ties to eclipses. And they aren't the only ones. In fact, check out this list. Every single leader you see on the screen has had a celestial event tied to them since 2017, with the exception of Putin, as his birth year is related to the Shemitah cycle, which is what makes him unique. However, everyone else are amazingly tied to celestial events, which means that every one of these world leaders plays a very profound role in moving the ball forward in end time events. And one leader I want to single out specifically because he's been in the news lately, is Emmanuel Macron, the French president, whose 42nd birthday was marked with that Christmas star. Remember that? It's a Jupiter-Saturn conjunction that occurred on the winter solstice of 2020. Well, here's just an example to prove this point that these world leaders tied to celestial events on their birthdays play roles in end-time events. You see, recently Macron was in China, 
And according to this Politico article, while Macron was meeting with the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, he mentioned that Europe must resist pressure to become America's followers. In fact, included in this article, they mentioned that Macron has emphasized his pet theory of strategic autonomy for Europe and presumably led by France to become a third superpower. That sounds like some end time stuff. However, proves the point that these world leaders being tied to celestial events on their birthday or occurring the year they were born, in fact, play unique roles in end time events. And so in conclusion for this video, not only are world leaders whose birthdays are tied to celestial events, but the fact that Bibi Netanyahu and the Supreme Leader of Iran both are born on eclipse, there is a lot more to unpack as this is an extremely profound connection and why this particular topic warrants a second video. And so as a setup, in part two, we are going to examine the constellations that these eclipses occur in and that the solar eclipses of this year are also in the exact same constellations. Almost as if Bibi Netanyahu and the Supreme Leader of Iran are funneling us towards the year of 2023. And really in order to see this profound connection, we're going to have to dig out the details of the story of Esther. And so definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that second video. And with that being said, beloved, I just want to thank you for watching another episode of Supernatural by Design. And always remember how much Jesus supernaturally loves you. Until next time, saints, God bless and Maranatha, King Jesus.